Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Stan 11 show. Everton versus Doncaster Rovers in the League Cup. Chance for a few players who've been on the fringe of the team in the first couple of games to get an opportunity to play. It's always, uh, it is always that occasion generally in Everton in the last few years where the new signers have suddenly get a chance um, to see whether they can kick on and, and get into that first team. Clearly, when we've been struggling as well, so um, let's get into it. Jordan Pickford in goal. Uh, good opportunity for him to get over that mistake he made on Saturday at Spurs uh, for Suns for the second goal, really, which was um, so so key, really, to not key to the game as such, but you know, just because we were one nil behind and Spurs weren't really doing anything, and we gifted them the goal, and that was clearly game over once that went in. So, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not someone who really likes to change the goalkeepers for the cup competitions. I can understand if Sean Dyche does want to give Jav Virginia an opportunity, but for me, I'd stick with Jordan Pickford. Um, it is a back four, and at right back, I'm going to continue with Dixon. He made his debut for Everton on Saturday at Spurs. It was a tough day, so yeah, you've got Ashley Young available now, but why not leave Dixon in and give him that opportunity to to play um, another first-team game? He's played a really tough game at Spurs, so why not let him have a game against uh, you know Doncaster at home and see how he gets on? You know, he's, he played last week in the EFL Trophy um, against the team who were in League Two. So keep him in there. You know, he might he mightn't play too many too many more games with Ashley Young. I imagine being available for Saturday, and then Patterson and Seamus Coleman coming back. So for me, I'd start him. I'd have no issue starting him. If you start in a Premier League game and he's done reasonably well, then to get him at Goodison under the lights for his for his Goodison debut, I think that's think that's more than he deserves after a, a decent pre-season and and a, and a good showing on Saturday so uh, for me Dixon at right back at left back uh, Vitaly Michalenko I think um, you know I think, don't think he's been that sharp in the first couple of games I think this is an opportunity to continue that ahead of Bournemouth and then and then he'll be away for international duty I imagine and probably get a couple of games in over that time but I think it is that that sharpness that's just lacking because he came back into pre-season a bit late again getting an injury in the Euros so again I, I, I mean there's no one really to replace him anyway but for me he has to start uh, at centre-back I think I think um, first of all I think James Tarkowski it's probably best to leave him out of this game I just think that again he's another one who didn't have a proper pre-season he was doubtful for Saturday, but played. And he's another one who just doesn't look sharp. He doesn't look match. Got that match sharpness um, that Dyche loves telling us about. Um, so for me, I'd leave him out. So what options does that was does that that give us? Well, of course, Jake O'Brien uh, should make his debut, and for me, he's in my team for the game. And alongside him, I suppose you've got a toss up then of Michael Keane or Mason Holgate and I don't think they're going to encourage my, uh, Mason Holgate um, by playing him in this game. I'm sure that they'll want to try and find someone to take him this week knowing that once the um, bite breaks over, Brantwaite is you know a couple of weeks closer to be, uh, being back and that gives you your, your four centre-backs I imagine for the rest of the season. So I'm sure they're trying to get Mason Holgate out the door and it wouldn't really make any sense playing him in this game. Like it was, didn't, wasn't didn't make any sense playing him on Saturday and I think, you know, again, that's one of the reasons he probably didn't play on Saturday. So for me, it's it's Jake O'Brien and it's uh, Michael Keane to start this game. And again, Jake O'Brien, another player who signed in the summer, gets an opportunity to make his debut at Goodison Park and, and it's a good opportunity again ahead of Saturday's game where you look at it and think well Evan have just shipped in seven goals this lad can be can be there going why why not me and this is an opportunity to prove that so you know that's at both ends of the pitch as well you know the set pieces which we are um, <laughs> which we need you know he's someone who's shown that he can score a goal 
So, you know, we, if he can defend well, keep a clean sheet, and also maybe do something at the other end, that that's that's uh, that's good for the manager who might be looking to change things around. He did say he was going to take action. He said he didn't get angry, but he's going to take a- uh, action. So, Jake O'Brien and Michael Keane starting for me uh, Tuesday night. Centre midfield. Um, again, I, I'm looking at the whole. I'm looking at the whole picture and thinking about what we've got, who we've got available. Obviously, there's no James Garner, so I think in many ways you have to then wrap up a just a Garner game, cotton wool, um, and leave him out of this game. You know, at his age, I don't think it's right that he he starts this game for me. Very similar to last year when I think we had to bring him on at half time. Um, but for me, I'd start Harrison Armstrong. He made his debut uh, on Saturday, even if it was only for a minute. He played last week against Tamir. And for me, I'd give him a start. I think if the manager's got enough faith in him, then why not put him into the team? Why not start him in this game and say, go on, let's see what you've got. Let's see what level you've got. And maybe that might be an indicator with, you know, the last few days of the window being open of whether we send them on loan or what level we try and send them on loan to and where he is in his development. They obviously, they obviously feel like he's got something because he's. we've had other players on the bench um, this season and last season that really haven't got a look in and they've just been filler, whereas on Saturday he, he thought, no, I'll give him a look. So I'd start him. I would start him and next, next him I've... Tim Irabunum who's obviously learning all the time. That is a very young centre midfield, by the way, but you know, it is sink or swim. Tim Irabunum's played a couple of Premier League games now with varying degrees of success. Again, you know, in his debut against Brighton, he was very bright and um got obviously got the plaudits off a lot of Everton fans. Saturday was a little bit more difficult for him. I think the game passed him by a little bit. Didn't have too many touches of the ball. Um didn't have too many of the tackles, and you know he had one tackle the entire game, and it did pass him by a little bit. Maybe it was a little bit too quick for him. Um, so is an opportunity again. I imagine he'll be starting on Saturday. So yeah, get him in the side, leave him in the side for this one, and put him next to Hanson Armstrong. And I said that is a young centre midfield, but needs must at the moment. But well, there's no point. There's no. I mean, listen, Ghana, yes. You could look at it in the way of saying, well, if he plays these two games, then it's an international break, and how much time will he get? Um, you know, how many time will he be asked to play during the international break? Nine, two ninety minutes. Um, but I, I just think again, for the, we're at home, people want to be excited. They want to see something a little bit different. They're very, very bored of what they're being shown, and let's see whether people can sink or swim. We'll find out if that's that's what he goes for. Uh, in the uh, attacking areas of midfield, uh, I have, or saying just the attackers in general, I've made um, multiple changes because I just think they have to be anyway. Um, players need to be given a chance and seeing where they are. So on the right-hand side, uh, I'm going to go for Jesper Lindstrom. Again, that's not really his natural position, but I just think... I just think where we are right right now and how we how our system is played, I think him playing in a wide position is a good place to start. Um, we saw him come off the bench against Spurs on Saturday in that position. So and he played there last week in the EFL Trophy as well. I think so. Start him in that position on the other side and die. And again, that's a position he's been playing in. Um, and I think it's a good opportunity for both players. And I think it's a good opportunity changing those positions just to see how we get on. We've been stuck in a rut of Harrison and McNeil um, and there's just no pace there and there's no real creativity, really. You know, we know what Harrison likes to do and we know what McNeil do- likes to do and so does everybody else now. That's where we are. So let's see what these two can provide. Again, you're going up against players who are, are what, three divisions below. We should be getting at them, we should be attacking, we should be exciting the crowd. Um that's what people want to see. So let's see, let's see it. Um and in the number ten position or the number eight position, whichever way you look at it, I'm gonna go for Dwight McNeil. I think um you know the manager switched them there on Saturday. And again, I'm not saying it's his natural position, and he is limited by being so one footed. But again, it's those set set pieces are really important. 
And again, let's just see him, let's see him how he gets on in a central position. I think the core has been poor in his first two games. Um, the two wide men for this game can play in that position. But I just think that you know you have to you have to uh, come into a side, you have to, you know use what you've got um in the system. And I think our system needs that midfielder, that number eight or number ten, to drop into midfield to add an extra body. And I think McNeil can do that. I think he's he done he's already done that for Everton uh, previously at Fulham last season, playing more as a centre midfielder when we when we really were um on our bare bones. So I'm gonna play him in there. And ahead of them I'm gonna go for Beto. I think, you know, Dominic Avalon started the season um poorly. And I think Beto deserves his chance, scored last season in this fixture. And then, you know, you know he played the next game, but then Dominic Cavalloon come back and uh, never really got a chance, like, too many more chances. So let's give Beto a chance. Let's see how he gets on again. Played in the EFL Trophy last week, scored a couple of goals. So let's see him hopefully do it again. And, you know, who knows by the end of the week, he might be our starting number, you know, our starting striker. So um, that's the side I'm going for. I think it's, I think it's attacking. It's got, it's got changes. It's got youth. Um, and let's see how it gets on. You know, I think this tournament is for changes. Often you see players playing for teams um, higher up in division and they've got young players and people look and go, well, where did they get their experience? They got their experience playing in this tournament. Um, so we need to give players experience, and that's not just young players. That's the players we've brought in, of course, as well. So obviously, three three of them are in the side, or four of them are in the side, of course, and um, that we brought in in this side. So let's see how it gets on. A couple of youngsters as well. I think that's, I think that, I think that would excite the crowd, and 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 people would be happy with that. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, do you like that, or would you change it? Who would you have in it? Let me know in the comments make sure to check out the match preview that me and baz have done as well listen it ain't going to be an easy game i'm certainly don't think we're just going to turn up and roll doncaster over the over they are they are a decent little side and um did well last season and have started the season this season brightly as well so it's not a case of just turning up and just putting a team out team have to work hard and they have to uh beat the side in front of them but um that side should be good enough, I believe. But we'll wait and see. Let me know your thoughts, as I said, in the comments. Make sure to check out the match preview. If you want more videos, daily live exclusive videos, head over to Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description. The QR codes come up on the screen now. See you later.